start tomorrow morning. I wanted to not say farewell, but I, don't, I won't be saying farewell. I hope you'll be letting me know if there's anything I can do for you up there. I sure will. So I'm available in New York in time. But I don't want to say goodbye. I just want to say again, with you knowing already what I, that I mean and how much I've enjoyed working with you and how great you've been to me. Good. Well, you've been... You've made a very fine contribution. I'm sorry it's got to come to an end. And, um, are you going to come by, or are you just going to go straight on up there today? Well, I, I don't want to take your time, Mr. President. Uh, uh, you got a lot to do. Uh, I'm going to catch your 5 o'clock shuttle up. Uh, start tomorrow morning. Well, you keep in touch with us, I and will. I hope you have a good luck. And uh, uh, you're going to go out to the newspaper, huh? Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to spend the night in New York at yeah. Guggenheim's uh, house having dinner with him, and then I'm going to go out in the morning at 9. Then Judith's going up to uh, start looking for a house. We won't move until this June or July until school is out. But she's going to go ahead this week and look for, for a place. What do you know that uh, I need to know? Well, Mr. President, I, I, quite honestly, I believe that things are, are picking uh, up on every front for you. I was almost called you yesterday morning to say I hope you would start, would resume the bombing. I, I think that was a very wise decision that you didn't resist the pressure to do otherwise, but I believe that is the only instrument we have in making those guys change your purpose. Uh, the press, the few press members of the press corps I've seen, and most of them, frankly, have been in New York. I've gone up there in three or four days on business last week. The, the few people I've seen all seem to have the impression that you're doing very well under very good circumstances. You said he told me the other day that he thought it had been your finest two months since you've been in the office, with the exception of the first two months after you took over. I think that the Manchester book has left you even stronger than we thought in fact when it first began to come out. Uh, that, that controversy hurt Kennedy. I think the your rating sure Romney has shown beating you, but uh, that's natural every Truman was beaten in every poll before 48, but the interesting thing to me is that Romney beat Kennedy by an even bigger margin, and it seems to me that with Kennedy not in office where he has to make decisions, he should have been closer to Romney than he was. I just think that at least the press corps seems to feel that, that uh, you're handling yourself with great tact and restraint and skill. I've heard good things about George. I've seen some good stories written about him. Uh, I don't really have really heard any any uh, negative uh, uh, stuff, uh, that, and, and I will I'll be hearing a good bit I hope up there, and, and, and I'll, I'll drop your line. And in that, you remember back before Christmas, I uh, talked to you about doing a, a special in-depth poll, uh, secret poll that is underway, has been, will be finished by the first of March, and. Uh, I'll get it down uh, to you because you're going to deliver it to me. And I believe that it's going to show us the debt. What uh, is it? It's, it's, we uh, hired this uh, Gallup subsidiary to do it for us. They don't know who, the, only the top man knows who they're doing it for. But it's an in depth effort to examine what the American people are thinking about you right now, and not only what, but why they are thinking. And uh, I've what personally uh, shaped the, the questions and trying to get the kind of answers we want. I mean, the try, actual honest answers. And it's a very, very exhaustive thing. It's taken about six to eight weeks to do, but then we'll be available, we'll be ready the uh, first uh, week or so of March. And I'll get that down to you. Give us a good insight into what the, the public opinion since the State of the Union message up until the uh, 1st of February when they started taking the survey. But I believe it'll show a, a very solid uh, base for your, your position. I think it'll probably range between 45 and 50. So do Gallup and Harris for the next 12 months or so. And the greatest thing, I think, going in your favor is fact that the Republicans are still cannibalistic, they just eating each other up. But I, I really hear good things now, and, I, and I'd tell you if I heard otherwise, but people seem to feel that you 
who are on top of your problems and dealing with them quietly and without ostentation, and they respect you for it, as I've been seeing society's column for the last four weeks, uh, reflect. You see anything about or you know anything about this fellow in New York, this doctor that's running Kennedy in full right and right and all the delegates? And no, sir, but I plan to have uh, news some, days. Somebody ought to go out and interview that's them quietly and see what, the, what they're doing and why they're doing it and what they have an interest in. And I noticed one of the reform clubs that are strongest behind him is out on Long Island, so I, what I think I'll do is have our editor uh, just put a couple of reporters to do an in-depth story on, on who he is and what he's up to, and uh, I'll let you know what. Somebody said to do in Ryan District, I've been getting a bunch of letters back that just really give him hell. Say, this is awful, and you, you're just trying to tear things up. One was the chairman of Montana this morning, I said, that's why I have to think of it. And he just, he just excoriated him, it was something awful. So you just, no good. But uh, they're supposed to be a big left-wing organization, according to what some of the folks say. Uh, Wagner and and the O'Connor and others are calling in, saying we ought to come up there and start doing something, organizing. Said our people have been trying to get along and, and trying to be friendly and uh, not have any fights, but they think we've got to say, well, we want everybody that's for Johnson to come stand up, and they think that if Kennedy's not for him. Well, that's all right, but. Uh, they think that the Democrats in New York will be for him. They won't start fighting him for the nomination, but they say that that this uh, this is planned. He's being financed under the table a little bit. It's from Ryan's uh, district, and they, they laugh because they said they don't understand why they think that Fulbright will make a sale to the liberal groups, particularly the liberal party members, because he goes against wage and hour for is most interested in, and most of them are uh, very nuts on the power question. He's always been Arkansas Power and Light, and different things of that kind, all the civil rights bills. They couldn't stand to have a man on ticket that just fought all of them. Uh, but they don't know that. They assume because of Vietnam that he's a great progressive. Uh, they think when that comes out, well, it'll be a little bit, and most of them don't think that Kennedy knows anything about it, got anything to do with it, or he wouldn't have Fulbright on the ticket with him. He'd probably have somebody like a liberal buyer, or somebody of that general type, uh, or if he didn't, somebody of the Jackson mold or something that kind. He wouldn't have a real ultra-conservative, but I don't know. I think it's worth looking into. But we'll look into it, and I'll put a couple of good men on it, and uh, we'll do some editorials about that just this point you just made, that here's a reformed Democrat going out to get Bill Fulbright to be vice president and look at his record. And, uh, anything, any other needs like that or ideas like that, have somebody call me because uh, I want to be helpful to you. I'm sorry I'm going to miss seeing you. Uh, if you have time, you drop by any time. I've got to see Halle Celeste at 11.30, but I'll be in and out uh, all morning. Uh, I haven't got much at 12.30 at 1.00. I uh, got to see Abe Feinberg, but uh, outside of that, uh, well, I'd, I'd love to see you. I'd be happy to drop by if you could use yeah, time. Sure. I want to just sure. I, I would, uh, I would uh, try to come in at uh, at about 12.30, and you may have to wait five or ten That's minutes. Right. There's a fellow from Business Week taking a picture of Walt Roscoe. All right, sir, I'll, I'll stop by.